Oh, hey, YouTube, what's happening? This is We All Juggle Knives, and uh, you're at another episode of Multi-Tool Monday. Now, this is a hatchet-based multi-tool. According to Google Translate, this company's name is pronounced Steel Vol Tools. When I got this, it was advertised as an Italian multi-tool, or at least uh, that company is Italian, although it's possible that it is German. However, the tool itself is made in China. Right, and then that company sells it to a Japanese store, and the Japanese store sells it to US Amazon. Right, so there's multiple countries involved. You can get this on US Amazon, uh, they have it in their warehouse. Now, the price was around $26, that could change, so it's pretty cheap. And honestly, I don't really have much faith in this type of multi tool, these mini hatchets. And so, if it wasn't cheap, I wouldn't even have tried it. There is the blade guard it comes with, there's no belt loop or anything, just that snap closure. So, it's a blade guard. All right, here is a comparison with the SOG Fast Hawk, a very light and short little tomahawk right so you see how small this mini hatchet tool is which they're calling the axe nine but it does give you the same edge length as that fast hawk but the handle length is way shorter yeah another reason i wanted to try this out when i have never ever bought a hatchet a mini hatchet multi-tool but this looked a little different than the other ones. For one, the edge is nearly straight. You know, it's a little different design than the typical, so I wanted to try it. Okay, let's do some stuff with this. Using the little hammer back on that nail. But yeah, I, I don't really have much faith in this type of multi-tool, but I mean, it was so weird. I was like, this will make some good entertainment. You know, I don't care. I don't really care if you buy it or not. I'll include links to all the all the uh, best multi-tools I've reviewed, so you can just use those links. I don't care if you buy this particular item. All right, using the pliers on that nail. Yeah, it's got the weird pliers that, like, the head of the hatchet opens up, and that's the pliers. Well, it, it, did, uh, it did its job there. But anyway, speaking of the pliers... There's no clearance on the sides of these type of pliers, but anyway. How about the, uh, the wire cutter? The wire cutter was bad, dude. It didn't work. It did not cut the wire. Right? Neither, um, I mean, it's a wire bender. That's, it's just really bad. <laughs> I mean, and I tried the, uh, the lower part too, which is supposed to be for hard wire. And that, that had, that didn't do any better. So yeah, very bad wire cutter, which is a shame because there's so little clearance on the sides of the plier head that at least if it had a good wire cutter, it would give some justification for even including that plier's feature, but no. All right, the blade. Now, it was it was all right. I mean, there you see it did it does all right. But it could be sharper. It could use a touch-up. I do agree with the shape of the blade. You know, it's more of a utilitarian, util utility knife type shape. Like for draw cutting, the, the point can start cuts and stuff like that. But the sharpness was like maybe a C+. Could have been a lot sharper. Alright, so it has this uh, squashed or flattened... Phillips style screwdriver and also has a a cap lifter at the base of that screwdriver right, But there it is on the Kershaw camp 12. Yes One of the most useful machetes if you're demonstrating screwdrivers on multi-tools, you're gonna see that in a lot of videos You know If you don't if you don't show the screwdriver working people think it's a conspiracy like they they don't trust that you tested it you had you know so all right you're going to see this camp 12 forever then if that's how you're going to be All right let's go outside and uh demo the hatchet blade yes the main the main implement that this whole thing is based around the hatchet blade Now here's the thing because this is a uh, the handle is fairly short and it's just, you know, it's a, it's a multi-tool. It's 
nowhere near the size of a real hatchet, so... It doesn't really generate that much force. Like, the carving force of this mini hatchet is about as strong as... Let's say I used a camp knife that had about a 6-inch blade. That's about the, the level of force that it carves with. Which is kind of a, a pain in the butt because... Basically, even that that Sog Fast Hawk would have been would have been better for carving because it, it can just remove more material with each hit. It just generates more force. All right, I'm speeding this. I'm speeding this up because you get the idea. And the hatchet blade is also very thick. So as far as you see me, um, you know, using it like a carving knife there, but. It's nowhere near as convenient as a knife would be, right? Because it's just really thick. I mean, a, you know, your average carving knife is super sharp, right? There I'm using the file to put more of a point on our, uh, quote, tent stake. I just wanted to use the file because, you know, it's supposed to be a metal file, but metal file has a lot of uses. Yeah, so through friction, we can put a point on our tent stake, you know, prison prison shank style, except uh, they don't have a file, they're using the floor of their, <laughs> the floor of their cell or something, but it's the same principle, and, and there you go, and if you don't have a sharp knife, um, the friction method can put a real nice point on your uh, your tent stake or your vampire stake or whatever it is to you. All right, here is the saw. Now there I'm just making some starting cuts just to get the ball rolling. All right, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the saw on a Swiss Army knife, but it's not quite as high quality, but it does, it can get the job done. Uh, there you see I have placed four grooves strategically around our tent stake with um with the saw right and those are going to be stop cuts uh, i'm going to use those to make the handle yeah the saw did okay i mean not quite as smooth as victorinox little saws all right you want to see what i made check this out all right, so after all that, I took one of my carving knives, and uh, sorry for the lighting, it took a few hours to smooth it out. I took one of my carving knives to that piece of wood, and that's what I made. And as you can see, those, those cuts that I had made with that saw were crucial to forming the handle. Right now, I could have used the blade on the multi-tool to uh, finish this. However, my carving knives are so much sharper than that blade that, you know, it, it would have taken a long time and it would have probably hurt my hand after a while. But I just wanted to show, yeah, this hatchet multi-tool, I mean, it, it can be used to make little projects like this. I'm not saying it has no use. I mean, it was helpful. The hatchet, the saw, they were helpful in that little project. And I guess if you were stranded on an island somewhere for some reason and all you had was this tool, then yeah, you could find useful things to do with it. You could use it. The whole problem is that compared to the other stuff you could use for the different tasks, it's, it's really hard to say that you should get this instead of just uh, have a camp knife and a little, a small hatchet and maybe a regular multi-tool. So yeah, I'm still not convinced of the utility of this type of tool in general. As for this model, this is better than most of the other hatchet multi-tools, I'll give it that, and I'm not really sorry I got it because it was fairly cheap, but I, I watched other videos to try to see what do people actually use these hatchet multi-tools for. Uh, some people used this to like make some kindling, and it, you know, a Mora knife with a a baton can make some kindling too. Some people used it to make shavings, bushcrafty things, but again, uh, a Mora knife can make better shavings than this. You could use the saw, but like a Swiss Army knife has, has a little saw too. 
It's just there's no one thing that this is great at that couldn't be done by other tools. You know, I mean, that's just my honest opinion. I think the main problem is that this is all based around a hatchet, but it's so small that the hatchet can't really generate much uh, force, you know. The pliers don't have much clearance around, the uh, the wire cutter didn't really work, uh, the blade was good, the file and the saw, those were all good. Probably the most useful thing day to day would be that little hammer just around the house type thing. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the better hatchet multi-tools, but the whole category is a little bit sketchy to, to me at least. So yeah, as far as this thing, uh, you know, it's fairly cheap, so if you want to buy one just for fun or whatever, fine, go ahead. You know, I, I mean, at least it doesn't have uneven, like, pack of wood handle scales. I mean, it, it it's good in its category, but it's, you know, there's much better stuff you can buy that's not hatchet-based. In fact, I will include a list of the better multi-tools, the Leathermans and so forth. I will include a list of those multi-tools in the text description box so you can get yourself some good stuff. And please try to use those links. They do help support the channel. They keep this series rolling. Remember, this series is more for fun. I mean, I saw this thing. I was like, this will be fun. You know, maybe not for the company that made this, but it'll be fun for us to see what it can do. Right, so that has been this Multi-Tool Monday. This has been We All Juggle Knives. Stay tuned for many more. I am out.